Hello and welcome everybody, I am the IT guy and today we're looking at how to change the icons on the refined bootloader. So there are two ways to do go about this. You can have the easy way or you can have the hard way. So the easy way is actually very very easy. You just need, just need to keep in mind that the icons that you're going to use need to have a specific uh, size and that size you can find that when you go over to uh, refined when we just actually let me search for refined here when we go over to there to his documents so uh, Rod Smith I believe when we go over to his documents and we configuring the boot manager and we're gonna set the icon size um, you can find the different sizes over here so the default icon sizes are 128 by 128 for the OS icons then you can have the uh, 48 by 48 pixels for the second row tools. And the second row tools are actually the ones that you see beneath. Uh, so when we actually would go back to this image over here. So these are the second ones. And then you also have these little icons over here that, that define where the OS is stored on. So for example, we have like this one on a disk and we have another one on a CD drive and those are also uh, different so when we scroll down again so the 48 by 48 pixels are uh, these ones over here and then we have a 32 by 32 and these are the little icons right over here so 128 32 48 and uh, that's what you need to remember so for example I'm gonna go over to my documents folder over here I have this arch Linux um, file over here and if I go over to properties I set that property to be 128 width and 128 height so it's a 128 by 128 so it's something that uh, refined is going to be able to use so now let's open up our terminal now let's start looking for where we need to change all of this so we can actually go into so let's do a sudo ls slash boot slash efi slash efi capital slash um let me see over here refined of course refined and we'll find this folder over here called icons and when we go into that folder we'll see that we have all of these images over here and we can go ahead and change all of these ourselves so arrow left is going to be um, one of the other one of the 48 by 48 pixels and then we have um, let's just say we have like tool rescue is also also going to be one of those and then we have os arch for example is, is the one that i used is going to be the 128 by 128 and the different so over here we have volume external is going to be one of those 32 by 32 ones that will um that will just tell us whether the volume is internal external uh, net or optical and uh, those are the things that you'll have to change over here so it's pretty obvious that arrow left is going to be the 40, 48 by 48 one volume is going to be the 32 by 32 one and then we have OS uh, which is going to be the 128 by 128 so I just have one icon OS arch.png stuck in my, stored in my documents folder over here so what I want to do is actually when I'm going to go into my documents over here I actually want to just do this so uh, I want to do sudo cp and then we do arch uh, no it's going to be os arch png and I want to specify that again over here of course os underscore arch dot png now I don't have Arch installed of course, but generally speaking, when I would copy that file into that folder, that would actually do the trick. So you can actually just copy, I would just suggest you just copy this folder over here. There's also a way of specifying a different folder in the configuration file, but I just wanted to get the easiest way uh, to do this. So you're better off just creating something like uh, a backup file. So you can actually just do like, um, Let's just say you just choose this one over here, 
you can do like copy that over to boot slash EFI slash EFI slash refined uh, slash icons backup something like that and we want to specify the minus R of course we want to do it recursively so we don't just copy the folder but also the files within and this this is actually something that will give us um, a nice backup of our icons so this is the easy way and whatever icon you change over there is going to be changed in refine so it's just going to read the icons of the operating systems that it detects because that's basically what it does so now on to the more advanced portion of the video so this is going to be a little bit more customizable and also if you have like a certain menus that you don't want to uh, display you can do that right over here so you can also hide them by pressing the delete key uh, when it boots but uh, generally I would just like to show you how to do it in a more advanced way so whenever you have issues with the easy way you can change that it's like I had issues with the easy way I uh, I had to change like the Ubuntu logo to appear like the Kubuntu logo so I actually had to take the Kubuntu logo file and change it into the OS underscore Ubuntu PNG because my refined installation so my refined bootloader detects my Kubuntu uh, operating system as Ubuntu for whatever reason and then it just display, displays this Ubuntu logo where my operating system is actually Kubuntu so that's uh, that's that, that that was quite annoying. So I had to figure out how to fix that, and uh, yeah, I found a way how to fix it. Of course, uh, this is going to be a little bit more advanced. But uh, first of all, let's go over to our disk manager. So whatever you have of disk manager, open that up, and you don't need a disk manager, but it's just a lot easier to see what it is. So let's just wait for this devices to be scanned so you want to take note of your root partition where your operating system resides on so you want to do properties so you can also do this by using uh, sudo blkid and then we're just going to scroll up over here and I know that the slash dev slash nvme0 blah 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 uh, partition 2 is this one over here and I know that this is the UUID so if I right if I would uh, right click it you want to take note of the UUID not the partition UUID you want to take note of this one over here oops looks like I can copy it right now so we're just gonna copy that one over here I'm gonna put that into our notepad for a while just to save it for later because we're gonna need that all right so the next thing you want to do is you want to go into uh, sudo nano slash uh, boot slash etsy slash etsy oh no yeah excuse me slash efi slash efi slash uh, refined and then you want to do the refined.conf file in here you'll have to find a few things so i'm going to scroll down all the way to the bottom because i've already changed mine a little bit you're going to find this scan for entry and you want to gonna uncomment it and I moved it over to the bottom because I wanted to be near all of the things that I changed so I just added this scan for um, entry right over here you just uncomment it first of all you just uncomment it and then you add like external and manual is going to be uh, the only things that we are going to scan for are the external drives and the rest is going to be manual so you want to make sure that that entry is in there uh, you don't need to uncomment it necessarily you can just write it uh, on the bottom you don't have to go and search for it if you don't want to uh, because it's it's uncommented but you'll be able to find it somewhere in this configuration file so just enter scan for external comma manual and right over here we can start adding our entries so we're going to need the uh, loader we're going to need the icon we're going to enter our os type we're going to enter the options and we're going to do the init rd so this is going to be uh, somewhat of a uh, a bit more of an advanced uh, way of doing it so we want to make sure that we 
we can find this VM Linus 5.4 um, file and we also want to find this initrd file. So let's go ahead and search for them. Let's open up a new terminal and we can find them right over here. So we can do a sudo ls and then we're going to do slash boot. It's in the slash boot folder. So we're going to do sudo ls slash boot. And we can find them right over here. So you want to take note of whatever is the highest version right now. So we have, if I would do a uname minus a, oops, you, I am making so many typos right now. <laughs> uname minus a is going to display our uh, kernel version right now. And we can see that it's 5.4.0 uh, dash. Uh, 42 generic and this is going to be our current uh, kernel version and this is the one that's um, going to be displayed right over here so we have 5.4.0.43 uh, excuse me and we're going to take note of this one we're going to take note of that one over here so we're going to take note of the latest version whatever the latest version is right over here So you want to do sudo ls slash boot. You want to take note of whatever the latest version of VM Linus is and whatever the latest version of initrd is. And you want to copy that over to the Ubuntu folder. So I'm going to specify it right now. So you want to do sudo cp slash boot slash uh, VM Linus. I'm going to paste that in here. And then you want to do, you want to paste that over to uh, boot slash EFI slash EFI slash Ubuntu and then you want to copy that over there but now you want to do that for the VM liners and you want to do that for initrd so you want to do that for both files now let's do an ls in here now we should find those two things so we should find VM liners and we should find initrd so now let's go back into our config file. So now those, th no, those two files are now copied into the Ubuntu folder. Let's go over here and let's enter that in here. So our loader is going to be the VM Linus. And you want to make sure that it is the, uh, it's not going to be the absolute path. It's going to be the relative path starting from the lowercase EFI. So starting from here, so starting from here, so EFI slash Ubuntu, and now we're going to do VM line of Z. So that's what I did over here. So the loader, I'm going to do loader. We're going to make sure that that's one, two, three, four spaces. Uh, loader, EFI slash Ubuntu, VM line is blah, blah, blah. And then you want to define your icon. So you can copy that icon to whatever folder you want. You want to make sure that that's in the refine folder or wherever you want. Uh, or you can also put that in the Ubuntu folder wherever you want to put that in. Just make sure, of course, that it's also 128 by 128. The OS type is going to be Linux. Then we're going to do the uh, options, and the options can be root equals UUID equals, and then you're entering the UUID. We took note of using the uh, this one over here, or you can also use you can also use the BLK ID like we did before. And then you want to do space RO at the end, and you want to close those quotes. And then initrd space, and you want to define the relative path to the initrd file. And then if you have any other entries, you want to make sure that uh, those things are in here. So we have a menu entry for Windows 10. Again, this is Windows 10 within quotes because we have a space in the middle here. And then the loader can be slash EFI. Uh, do take note that's a backslash backslash efi backslash microsoft boot uh, and then we want to do the boot mgfw.efi it's gonna be most likely is going to be this one over here so you shouldn't really have to look that up i think you can just safely copy this what i did and uh, otherwise you'll just have to figure out where the boot manager of uh, windows is uh, located but usually it's located in the efi and then microsoft boot and then the uh, boot manager uh, for Windows or whatever that says over here. Dot EFI icons. 
is going to be the icon that you want to use. Uh, as you can see, the Windows 10 icon hasn't been updated in your refine, but it's the same icon as Windows 8, so who cares, right? And that should actually be it. So you can do Control O right now. So I'm not going to do that because I already saved it. Yeah, let's just exit out of there by doing Control X. I'm not going to save anything because I've already done that. Let's exit out of everything right now and let's reboot our system and let's see if everything worked out the way it should. So rebooting the system right now, let's see if everything worked out. Well, it looks like my Kubuntu logo is in place. So I have uh, boot Kubuntu from EFI system partition and I have boot Windows 10 from EFI system partition. So let's try this one out here. Yep, that seems to work fine. Alrighty, so let's enter our password here. Let's try and reboot again. Excuse me for the shaky camera. I'm trying to do this with both hands. Let's see if Windows also works. There we go. All right, that seems to be working. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. And if you did, please leave a like and a comment below. And if you want to see more of my videos, please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.